Mm. Manchester United won. Everton won. Two points dropped. I'm pretty goddamn angry, if I'm being completely honest. After a second half performance where Manchester United failed to control and hold that game when we really, really should have. The first 45 minutes, I would argue, was one of the most controlled 45 minutes. United really good in possession, good in movement of the ball, an excellent first half goal from Martial, good football. But the second half, United, what are you doing? Fred, what are you fucking doing for that goal? Take the yellow card. Take Damari Gray down. It's the most simple thing to do to stop a counter-attack. But you just get pushed over like a feather in the wind. Fred, you're an idiot. You are an idiot. I don't like to scapegoat players, but Fred is an idiot for what he did there. Shaw is also an idiot for being drawn in to Lindelof, who I thought had a decent game. Was it Varane, whoever it was. He left Townsend on his own. He made no mistake, won all. United, at least at that point, look, so many people can slate Solskjaer. So many people can. And I think fairly in a lot of situations in this game, I think he was vindicated with his decision to start Martial. He was not vindicated in his decision to start Fred. That there is now vindicated fans even more so. To stop fucking playing Fred. When we've got Paul Pogba in that team, Rashford's going to come back, play left wing. Start Paul Pogba. He should have started that game. It was ridiculous. We didn't need Fred in that. Well, Fred was losing it in the first half. As I said, I hate to scapegoat, but Fred was the issue in that second half. It wasn't the whole issue. All of the players let themselves down. Solskjaer made the proactive substitutions there of bringing Sancho and Ronaldo on both before the 60th minute to maintain some sort of momentum. And United looked like they were going to score a second. Sancho passing it to thought Sancho. Ah, oh, the chance at the end there for Sancho. Oh, fucking hell, United, man. That game there, there's not many games this season where we've controlled a game as much as we did today. Yet we come away with one point. Another two points dropped on a weekend where Liverpool and City are playing each other. So our rivals around us, they're not our rivals right now. We're not Premier League title contenders like this. It's with, what is it, like nine, ten games now at Old Trafford where we have not kept a clean sheet. It's our worst record in, it's like, in like 50 years. Manchester United today, there, all we needed to do in that second half was control it, squeeze the game out and see out the 1-0 win. But we did not do that. We could not do that. We are not capable of doing that. And it's really, really aggravating to see that from Manchester United. Today was another opportunity. Look, it's one forward and two back. One forward and two back. We were there basically waiting and relying on Cristiano Ronaldo to come up with that goal, with that moment at the end of the game. But he obviously didn't. But we, we, we were effectively relying on that. And, oh man, I'm furious. I'm really, I'm really am furious there because that was a game where we could have come out of that with so many goddamn positives. I thought the football in that first half, look, you might not like the starting eleven, but it was working. United were passing it through the zones very well. Bruno Fernandes, an absolutely death touch. Martial with the finish. Fair play, Martial. I did it. Look, it goes to show you why you shouldn't be doing videos that are massively reactionary. I did a video a couple of weeks ago saying Martial's finished. He goes and scores today. I hope that's the first of many. And I'll happily eat humble pie over what I said about Martial this season. But that's another fucking game there where Manchester United should and could have come away from that with three points. There is no excuses for United to come out in that second half, 1-0 up against that Everton team and to have a bench of Ronaldo, Sancho, Van der Beek, Matic, and not come away with three points. Fuming. I'm absolutely fuming that we haven't managed to do that. And as I said, I think Solskjaer, the thing he got wrong was Fred from the start. We all know that. That's ridiculous. Solskjaer, stop it, mate. I've told you this. If you're going to be stubborn and stick with them, they're going to be your downfall. Don't do it to yourself. It's, you can see there that you didn't need Fred and McTominay in that game against Everton, who was sitting deep and only hitting us on the counter-attack. If anything, you probably should have just played... Well, I don't know, Fred or... Uh, mate, I don't know what to say because on the, that game there, there were so many positives that I wanted to come out of that, that game with. That we actually controlled a match, that we were looking sharp, the clean sheet was... No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. And it was an offside goal. I wasn't really worried about that. It was a ridiculous decision by Tom Davies to pass it to Yerry Mina. And we're fortunate that he did that because that should have and could have been a winner for Everton towards the end there. 
But we now got an international break. Two weeks without football, two weeks without United. And we're going to have to wait for the Leicester game. We're going to have to wait and see what the response is. But it's all about momentum in football, man. And today was an opportunity for Manchester United to go into the international break with three points under our belt. Instead, now we're sitting here talking about the fact that we can't keep a goddamn clean sheet. About the fact that we've dropped another two points. About the fact that we couldn't control that second half. That that was there's no excuse for it. There is no excuse for how badly we controlled. And that goal that we conceded, we conceded from a corner on a counter attack. It's poor. As I said, I'm pointing to Fred for that. I'm sorry. I'm, I don't like to scapegoat players, but it's fucking ridiculous that he did not take that yellow card there. It's very simple midfielders. That's how midfielders play. You take that yellow card because it's for the team. It's a bit like when Solskjaer ran back and take, took a red. Was it Rob Lee you took down against Newcastle? You remember that? There's certain moments where you just go, nah, just take the yellow. That was it, Fred. Use your noggin. Use that, mate. So showed just complete lack of intelligence to do that. And honestly, he got beaten in the shoulder by Damari Gray. He's a whippet. Jesus, Fred. Go and eat some beef. Go and eat some beans. Do something. Because right now, you're just not doing it for Manchester United. And he is the biggest symptom of our problems in midfield. He is the symptoms of our problems in midfield. Fred and McTominay, maybe on their own in certain situations, aren't really the issue. Fred and McTominay together, they are the issue. They are the crux of the problems that we have in midfield and all of our issues, unfortunately, revolve around them. We should not... How we've conceded from a corner is ridiculous. I'm sitting here watching the replay. Once Fred goes in on Damari Gray, doesn't win the ball, and then he goes towards the sideline and he tries to shoulder him. Fred, mate, that is honestly unreal. And as I said at the same time, Shaw really should have basically stayed wide. It's a bit like Delot against Villarreal when he was left on his own. It should have been Delot. Delot was there, holding back, holding back. Shaw should have held back, held back, sat into his space. So I'm not saying Fred's completely at fault for that, but he is. Fred is, and Shaw is. And it's just, it's sloppy defending. It's sloppy mistakes from Manchester United to concede from a corner, to not let that, to let that momentum slip. Because it was a very, con Everton were dangerous in parts in that first half against United, but it was one of the most controlled performances I've seen from United. Actually in possession of the ball, moving it around. Very smart play for the goal. Very decent finish, a little bit of a deflection, but very good half, I thought. And then the second half, what are you doing? Now, I don't want to hear anybody going at Solskjaer, really, because I thought he was good with the substitutions. I thought Sancho coming on, yes. I thought Ronaldo coming on, yes. Both of those were proactive substitutions rather than reactive. That was Solskjaer trying to keep the momentum up. But the players didn't do it. The players didn't deliver. And then Pogba came on as soon as they scored. The players did not deliver. I think Solskjaer delivered with his substitutions, with the game management. What he got completely wrong was starting Fred from the beginning. And that almost cancels out the positives of the fact that those subs were correct. But two points dropped there. A real, real failure to control that second half. And I'm angry about it. I'm really pissed off about it. But it's United, right? We don't keep clean sheets. We really just cannot keep a clean sheet this season. Harry Maguire, no Harry Maguire. Raphael Varane, no Raphael Varane. Whoever it is, whoever the partners are. We can't keep a clean sheet. And until you do that, you're never going to win the Premier League title, right? What's your reaction to the game? Am I going overboard? You can let me know in the comments below. I don't think I am. <sighs> Two points drop, man. What are United doing there in that second half? <laughs>